Anthropics computer use is crazy. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to test it out for yourself as a non-technical person in under five minutes. I'm also gonna show you four of the coolest use cases I've seen on Twitter with this technology in use. All these free resources are in my free school community, so make sure to join if you want free resources and access to these links. First of all, what we wanna do is come up to Replit and we wanna search for Anthropic Computer Use Case. I'm also gonna link this directly in my school community. Create REPL right there. And then what, we're wanna, what we wanna do is you can see it's telling us to add our Anthropic API key. So come to Anthropic if you don't already have an account, create one, and then we wanna create an API key. Copy and paste this key. Don't copy paste that because it will not work for you. Um, I'm gonna disable it. Come to secrets over here add the value in that API key there, and then literally click run and this thing should be ready to go. <clears throat> so we have two tabs here, we have a web view and we have an output. So I wanna drag and drop the output over here so we could see these two things working synchronistically. And as you can see, we have Firefox on the right hand side and this right here is where we speak with Claude to tell it to control my computer. So let's just say, all right, so Look up Brock Message on YouTube and then bookmark his channel. So it's breaking down step by step. First, let's open Firefox, then navigate to YouTube, search for Brock, find his channel, bookmark it. So it is breaking it down step by step how to do it. And then now the computer use feature is working. You would see it searching YouTube on the right hand side. Now it has my YouTube channel actually popped up. And this isn't great. It doesn't work extremely fast, but this will only get better. Now it has my YouTube channel pulled up. It looks like it's clicking the bookmark and it literally just bookmarked my, yeah, you can see it saved the bookmarks, that is awesome. All right, so let's actually look at a couple more use cases of people using this. So you could see right here, here is a collaboration with Claude on a spreadsheet. So I asked it to create an ROI column on the investing sheet and it did, um, it said it made a mistake, but let's look at this. So you can see on the right hand side, it is taking screenshots. So it is taking some time, but you can see the ROI column on the right hand side. Now that is pretty damn cool. The fact that I could do this and edit spreadsheets like this. Another really cool spreadsheet use case with Anthropics computer use is this guy literally asked this to see how many golf balls could fit inside a Boeing 737 and add it to a spreadsheet. So it said, take the first three URL links and input that data in the estimates that they think inside of the spreadsheet. So let's watch this. So it's breaking down the math here. You could see it's adding the specifications. It's adding the golf ball specifications. And now it's doing the math to see how many golf balls fit inside of a 737. All right, so this one's crazy. So this is Repli Agent times Anthropic. And so what they did is they actually allowed this to plug in the computer use as a human feedback replacement. So this could literally build a full app and not only write the prompts for it to build, but also check it and tell it to create different iterations and fix the bugs that it's running into. Instead of having to sit there and say, this doesn't look right, fix this for me. It literally fixes it for you. Look at this. Since we launched Rapid Agent, I really feel this agent speed run, we are creating a simple web app with database support to arrange a Christmas potluck. A major challenge we face in making our agent more reliable is how to test web applications is not just a matter of writing unit tests. Our approach is to ask for user feedback and let, let the agent act upon it. But we can do better. At Rapid, we've been one of the early customers of the latest cloud model. All right, so you Rather could see... The human in the All right, so now you could see the app is built out with Replit Agent, and now computer use is testing out the app in order to give it feedback. Loop, the new model allows us to autonomously test web applications, thanks to its new computer use capabilities. I can tell you the last time I was so excited to see a brand new AI capability in action, especially one. So the AI computer use function literally came up with these different uh, functionalities and features that they want to add without a human even having to test it. This is absolutely mind blowing to me. All right, guys, so I could talk about for hours how this is going to change the way we interact with computers and AI. Uh, but I just want to make this video to show you how to actually test this yourself. So I hope you're able to test some really cool things with this. Join my free school community. Let me know some of the things you've tested in that community. I would love to hear what you're testing. But we are now at a time where we are, we are going to be able to deploy and build autonomous AI agents that work across our computer and do things that humans could literally do. This is a work of virtual assistants that I would have been hiring two years ago. Now it could be done with AI to actually do certain tasks on my computer. This is amazing. Uh, I'm gonna have more content coming out on computer use. Make sure you're subscribed, leave a like, leave a comment. See you guys in the next video.